Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the featherweight bout between Sodiq Yusuf versus Diego Lopez. And how do I feel about this one right here is I'm going average confidence Sodiq Yusuf to beat Diego Lopez. And um, tough enough fight you know, for both, for sure, for sure. It's a tough fight for both. But um, I think Sodiq Yusuf grappling is severely underrated. It's going to stay severely underrated for the most. Well, this fight might could potentially change that. Could potentially change it. And I'm not saying he's going to go out there and grapple with him and submit him, but I wouldn't be surprised to go out there and mix it up. I wouldn't be nice to be surprised that he has more success than people would believe and could even win some bouts of it and potentially even submit Diego Lopez in case where it's like not saying he go out there pure BJJ and submit him, but like maybe, you know, over the course of the fight, you know, they striking and so you used to pick apart the feed and Lopez trying to go Desperado for some grabbing, trying to roll for some leg locks or try and dive and then pull guard, like pull like Desperado guard on him. And then um used to start dropping some elbows on him and then probably stop guillotine on him something or dars him or something. I would not be surprised. But um yeah. Am I predicting about submission? I'm not. But um yeah, I think so the use of can address him. I think I don't think um his off of the takedowns are all that great from um Diego Lopez. And then if it, as far as his bottom jiu-jitsu, I feel like um, Yusuf could address that pretty well. And um, on the feet, I think so the Yusuf is a much more technical striker. He's definitely not past Sabatini. I would say that. He's not past Sabatini. So you start to say, oh, he, look what he did past Sabatini. Um, what's his name? Damon Jackson made him tap the strike. So that ain't no real accomplishment to start um, past Sabatini. You know, his jiu-jitsu was able to, you know, keep Sabatini honest enough so that he could keep it on the feet and put his hands on Sabatini who don't got much striking, don't got much chin. Yeah. So, yeah, I think Yusuf is just the more well-rounded fighter, the more polished fighter, more clean, more technical fighter. I think he addressed the grappling of um, Mavzar Avloyev, not Mavzar Avloyev, <laughs> of um, Diego Lopez, and then I'll strike him. I'm not going to say he's going to finish. I'm going to say he goes to the decision. I think it'll be a close competitive decision. I think um, Diego Lopez is going to try to make interesting, going to be aggressive at times, but the cleaner technique should prevail and the more flushed out, you know, I said flushed out, flushed out game will prevail again. So I think he'll be able to keep the fight standing. I think when um, Diego Lopez tries to desperately pull guard, I think he'll be able to stay on top, you know, defend his legs well, drop elbows on top, you know, and shut down Lopez's submission game. You know, on the feet, I got to think more positive. I think Lopez is going to be aggressive at times, try to make something happen, but so he's going to be fired back with good counters, stick with the jab, Stick with some good teeth to the body and just like and just clean them up. But I think the fact, you no know, judge is going to see the craziness from low, I mean, low, but you know, might not be something. The activity is going to kind of make it seem like the grounds are close than they are, but I feel like the cleaner technique and the actual offense and stuff is going to all be really mostly on Yusuf's side. And then Yusuf beats him to a decision. I think it's going to be pretty clear. Probably like a 29 28, but could be 30 27 type situation. So in this one, I got so deep Yusuf via decision. 